Mr. President, how are you, sir? Pretty good. Uh, just one moment of your time, sir. I'm a bit concerned about some of the rumbles I hear and uh, uh, an article or two I've read in the paper about uh, the intention of some of us who feel very strongly about this poll tax, and I just want to personally tell you that I, I don't think it's necessary to, because I hope you already know of my, my personal loyalty to you, that uh, this is motivated, motiv I'm motivated because of uh, philosophical conviction and because I'm staring down the gun barrel of uh, a sizable percentage of uh, Negro voters, both in, in two of our largest metropolitan areas. And that uh, if there's any uh, uh, conspiracy afoot, uh, I know nothing of it. Mm -hmm. And I haven't sensed this on the part of anybody, really. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, I. I want to uh, get a bill very much, and I want to. Uh, I don't know what we can do if we if we uh, go beyond what the attorney general thinks we ought to. I don't know what will be the outcome. I, I have left it up to him. I felt that he was loyal to the Kennedys, and uh, uh, I kept him on largely for the reason that I didn't want personalities to get involved in this and. Uh, credit and uh, spirited contests and stuff, and uh, I think civil rights is something we ought to keep up, up, up above politics. And uh, I was hopeful that uh, he could uh, work out uh, uh, something that would everybody would be agreeable to. I told him last November to draw a bill that would lower the age limit to 18 and would get rid of the poll tax. He came back to me and told me that the, the, the preponderance of judgment of the department was that they could not uh, do that and that I would endanger the whole bill. That he thought in effect he could do it by uh, 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 Providing it could be used to discriminate, and that he would get as close to it as he could. When this question came, when this question came.